Good. Good morning, evening. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. I don't know what. <laughs> I'm confused. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How's everybody? Pretty good? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. pretty good. What about you? I'm pretty good. Thank you. Um, so yeah. glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, All right, class. So um, today, what I was thinking of is um, I was thinking of starting the class and then uh, probably somewhere, you know, in the middle, we'll take attendance. OK, just um, so that we can start right away with the class and we can, um, you know, uh, make a little bit more progress. So um, I'm going to start sharing. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see it. Perfect. OK. So yes, I can see it. Yeah, wonderful. OK, wonderful, wonderful. So here we're talking um, about success stories, success stories of um, of businesses. OK, do you recognize these um, these companies? Any of these companies, do you recognize them? Probably, right? Yes, all of them. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, exactly. And it's because these are very successful businesses, right? So let's read about them. Can someone read about Coca-Cola? Can someone help me read? Sorry, could you repeat the question? Can someone help me read about Coca-Cola? the main product and the fact. Just reading. Coca-Cola, soft drink, use and uh, bottled water. Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. let me move. Coca-Cola is the best known English work in the world after Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. So yeah, everybody knows the word okay, right? But after okay, everybody knows the word Coca-Cola, right? And it's just simply because it's so successful, so popular around the world. Okay, good. Can someone read about Sony? A volunteer read about Sony? Sony. Sony. Main product. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear yes. you. Go ahead, Susanna. All right. Uh, Sony, main products, electronic equipment, movies, and TV. Fact, some early products include radio adapters and rice cookers. Thank you. All right. So yeah, Sony is another one of the very, very successful companies. And, um, you know, you, usually you know Sony for like their electronic equipment. However, it, it's also um, like the earlier versions of or earlier products uh, were like uh, even rice cookers. Do you guys know rice cookers, right? Yeah. Rice cookers? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so imagine like like it's very varied. It's not just about electronic products, like um, it's not just about the, like a entertainment. It's it's also, you know, like um a like electronic appliances. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to read about Levi um, Strauss? 
Me, me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, just give me a second. Um, how about if we do it like, can you raise your hand? So that way I know who's first, who's second. You guys raised your virtual hand? Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to read next. Perfect. Okay, Karen. Okay. Gyms and casual clothing. The first gyms were made for men looking for gold in California. Did you know that? Did you know that the first jeans were actually not for wearing not it's not it wasn't like casual wear. It was actually work wear. Did you know that? No, I didn't. No? No. Yes. Yeah, you you knew that already, Brandy? Yes. Yeah, so actually the small the small bag was for uh, uh for the watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So originally, um you know, then actually um the what's it called? The fabric used for um for jeans is called denim. Okay. So the denim was a very a useful kind of uh, material for the miners. The miners um, in, in um, yeah, looking for, for gold that, you know, they were called actually the 49ers. And um, they would make uh, these jeans for them to wear, to wear. So it'd be easy for them because um, it was hard work you know, so they needed something that was, um, uh, I, it's, um, they needed something that was, um, what's it called? Um, like durable, right? Um, to, to wear in the mind. So yes, it was, all, it was, it was very, um, it was very useful there. Okay. Next, uh, can someone, who was next for Nike? Edgar. Edgar, Nita. okay. All right, go for it, Edgar. And then the last one will be Nidia. <laughs> All right. Athletic shoes and sport clothing. Nike is named for the Greek goddess of victory. Okay, very good. Interesting, right? Nike is uh is the, the name of the Greek goddess. So, and it's not just any Greek goddess, it's, it's the Greek goddess of victory. So she's like, yeah, yeah we, we made it. <laughs> um, yeah. A great one. Huh? It's a great, uh, it's a great uh, product, Nike. It, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, um, it's a very popular product, but it's also very useful. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And the last one uh, was Nidia, right? Okay, he says that uh, chocolate, instant coffee, and water water. Nestle means littleness, which symbolizes security, security and family. Yeah, very good. So, you know, um, Nestle is Little Nest. Do you guys know what Nest is? Yes. Yeah? What is Nest? What, what is, uh, nest? It's when the, the house, the, the bird, bird uh, when they are going to... Uh, I don't know, bring the eggs. Yeah, exactly. So birds, basically it's 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 where birds live, right? Like that's their, mm -hmm. that's that's where they bring their family, right? So that's where they um they hatch their eggs and everything. So yes, it's it definitely symbolizes security and family. 
Yeah. So which of these products um, exist in El Salvador? All of them. Yeah, all of them, right? So you can see how successful they really are. Yeah. And what are other successful brands in El Salvador? Yeah, but... Mm -hmm. Adidas. Adidas, yes. Oh, by the way, guys, I just wanted to mention, you do know that this is pronounced Nike, right? Not Nike. Right, so this is Nike. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. In Spanish, is Nike. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Like no a idea. quarter. Right, like Cora, exactly. Yeah. So, um, what other what other um brands are very successful in Salvador? If we're talking about like beverage, like Coca Cola is like a for level is a uh, Pepsi. <laughs> Okay, yes, okay, it's, sure. Uh, uh, no, the, the, the third one could be Salvacola. And the last one, the, the worst, is like a big color. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, but not just, I'm not just talking about, um, what's it called? I'm not just talking about um, in terms of... Than um, what? No, but not, those not, are like cast of sex success success yeah and i'm not just talking about soft drinks like in general what other um what what other um oh what's it called um what other um companies are successful in the software that are like international the for example which one Beep. The full, for example, pizza company. Uh, pizza Hut. Company. Okay, Pizza Hut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. pizza Good. Pizza Hut company. Okay, the Pizza Hut. What oh, else? McDonald's. McDonald's. Okay. Yeah, what McDonald's. Else? It's international. Right. Yes. Definitely. What else? Uh, UPS. Okay. Mm -hmm. What 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 is UPS? It's not the. They they have like a delivery, mm -hmm. like a mail. Yeah. So they're a courier. Yeah. Courier. Yeah. yeah. Very good. What else? Any other ones that are very famous in El Salvador? KFC. Hmm? KFC. 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 Okay. Okay, good. KFC. And what about the locals? What 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 which ones are very successful of local of local um companies? That's what you can local. Chicken Campero. <laughs> which one? Pollo Campero in this case. Pollo Campero. Uh, Pollo Campero is from Guatemala. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. In El Salvadorian. In El in, in Salvador is uh, Pollo Campestre. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They, so, they, are from, they are from San Miguel. Mm -hmm. so I didn't I, know. Mm -hmm, what I heard was that, like, so, yes, um, Pollo Campero is, um, is Guatemalan, but Salvadorians made it successful. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so it's so yeah, that's why we we claim it as our own, but really it's it's like it was started in Guatemala, but uh, it became famous something, in El Salvador. Something local here. It could be the pupusas. I don't know, it could be okay. Is there a brand that not, maybe not the it's 
it's not the brand, but it's no. Uh, like a typical smart god, I don't know, could be. Okay, yes, typical smart god. Yeah. So what? Uh-huh. Sorry, you're breaking it. We have little to a teacher. Oh, Lido. Lido. Lido, yes, yes. Lido. Ah, right. oh, the company who sell bread and cake. Bread, cake, yeah. Anything else? Uh, Mr. 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 Donut, so Mr. Donut teacher. What about Mr. Donald? But Mr. That Donuts is, is not, not local. Okay. Mm -mm. What about Ac actually? Italian? Actually, I was very surprised. But um, there's a, a there's Mr. Donuts here in Thailand. Uh, Mr. Donuts is the same uh, as Dunkin' Donuts. It's is like it the uh, same? Uh, how Yes, I think it's the same. It's no. like uh, Guys, franquicia. I don't, I don't know. I for don't example, so. for example, in, in Costa Rica, Maxi Despensa is Maxi Pali. Uh, the same it happened in Guatemala. Mm. I don't know. Super Selectos could be another brand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super Selectos is just yeah. from, from here in Salvador. And and what do they produce? Well, nowadays they are they made like a cheese. Uh, it packaged with the their names: uh, salt, oh. rice, beans, all soups. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very that good. Came. Excellent. Like so, a, so, somebody, somebody is healed, but they, they, um, they wrap the bread. Yeah. Okay. They, they use their they own name, like Super Select is made that. Okay, interesting. Okay, good. Okay, very, very good. So these are all success stories, and speaking about success. Let's talk, actually, let's talk a little bit about vocabulary. Uh, <clears throat> related to success. Qualities for success. Okay. So here we have um, qualities for, for example, a model, a salesperson, and a magazine. So we have words like fashionable. Fashionable. Okay. You guys know the word fashionable? I don't remember. Nobody remembers? No. What does it mean, fashionable? A la moda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fashionable. Yeah. So fashionable is somebody that follows fashion yeah that's somebody's fashionable well somebody that follows fashion um somebody that uh that is using the latest that's stylish that's using the latest trends okay gorgeous you understand the word gorgeous splendida um Kind of. It's uh, like I can buy I can buy a shirt for three dollar, but it made like a somebody at home. But the gorgeous could be some uh, clothes that make uh, some famous person. That could be gorgeous. Gorgeous is beautiful, mm -hmm. right? Gorgeous yeah. is like a fancy. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous is actually. Very, very beautiful. It's like okay. it's like a very it's like the highest level of beautiful. So you have like yeah, but it doesn't pretty... matter if it is cheap. It doesn't matter if it is cheap or it is like a expensive or make something famous. So so about people, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So okay, so in this case. We're talking about a model. So yes, it is talking about people in this in this particular case. However, gorgeous can be used for anything. 
It can be used to describe people, places, or things. Okay? Um, so it just means like, okay, so we have something that is pretty, somebody or something that's pretty, something that's beautiful, it's like up here, and something that is gorgeous is up here. It's like the max zone, right? And gorgeous is like spectacularly beautiful. Okay? Does yeah. that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Industrious. You guys know the word industrious? I think maybe a very very what? Very, very elaborate, maybe. Elaborate. Muy elaborado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so industrious. Um, okay, so industrious means um, somebody that. Um, Okay, industry means it comes from the word industry. Okay, what is industry? The company who made it's a factory for a company. Right, it's a company, right? Okay, so industry industry is a company. Um, it's a, it's a company that produces something. So industrious is actually um, somebody that works hard um, in an industry uh, to prosper, okay? To be successful, okay? It's just the same as in Spanish, right? Very, very similar to Spanish. How do you say industrious in Spanish? Industrioso. Industrioso, right? So it means somebody that works very hard to be successful in a company. It's kind of a fit for that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For okay. Any questions? No. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Muscular. You understand the word muscular? Someone who made a lot of workout? Yeah, definitely. Somebody that works out and usually lifts weight. Uh, you know, because even if you work out, you may not get muscles. But muscular is somebody that works out, lifts weight. So they, their muscles are very are very visible, okay. Uh, slender. Slender is like a, like a, the same, right? Like a muscular, it's almost the same, I think. Um, I would actually it's say- It's not like a fit person? Yeah, so- It's, it's, um, it's like, a, like a handsome person or something like this, right? Okay, so muscular is somebody that uh, works out and you can see their muscles, right? That's what muscular. Slender is kind of the opposite in the sense that you, um, they're, it's like saying that they're, they're thin, okay? But not, they're like healthy thin. And usually they are like very, tall like it's kind of like elegant elegant thin yes Brendy it's like how the picture that we have here on the right side the man is not really muscle but it's like a slender have like a personality absolutely yes that's a very that, that's a very good point so yes if you can see this guy here uh you probably cannot see that he's muscular right he doesn't look muscular but he's definitely slender, right? So he's like, 
he's thin but like healthy thin not like not um and usually slender people are people that are thin because they do exercise um so that that's why like they look healthy and they look very elegant yeah okay, okay. all right now what other qualities do you think are important for a model to be successful poker face poker face hmm no. interesting Okay, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not saying I just didn't, I wasn't thinking of something like that, but sure, why not? It's like uh, most of the time they, they can smile or they can be angry, just poker face. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. good. Anything else? Yeah, how to be young? I have a question. Uh-huh. Yeah. But with slender, uh, can slender means like elegant? It, it, elegant? it implies it implies that that the person is elegant, but it's not synonymous with elegant. Okay, so actually, yeah. it, the best word in Spanish, the best translation in Spanish with slender would be something like esbelto. Right, so when a person is velta, is somebody that is thin, but elegant and yeah, thin, elegant and delicate. Kind of, yeah, yeah, a bit, yeah. Okay. Anything else? No, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, so, anybody, anything else? Any other uh, adjectives that you would you would say that are important for a successful model? Have a good balance. <laughs> a good balance. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, good balance? Well, when you have to walk, you cannot. Uh, um, what is the word? You cannot fall, mm -hmm. so you need a good balance. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. What else? Can be yeah. over overweight and over um age. Okay, so then what what qualities would be good for success then? So would you say young? Yeah, they they could be uh, over age and overweight most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why. I, we mentioned muscular and slender, right? Because if someone's muscular and slender, you they can't be overweight. Mm -hmm. But yes, definitely, probably young. All right, next, a salesperson. We have clever. Do you understand clever? Smart. Smart. Yeah, smart. yeah, yeah. Uh, clever is like smart. Mm -hmm. Almost could be like street smart. Okay, good. Um, next we With have. Speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, then we have. Charming. Do we understand charming? Charming is like a like a sweet, like a sweet or lovely. It's like a kind. I don't know how to say it in English, but it's like a like a the person uh, sympathetic. 
Ya es like a encantador. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, you, you mentioned a, a very good word, sympathetic. Yeah. Um, so it means that yeah, charming is someone that everybody likes because um, everybody feels they are like, you know, sweet. And um, yeah, so everybody, basically everybody likes them. That's charming. Okay. Okay, good. Knowledgeable. What is knowledgeable? I don't know, but like a... The ones who have a lot of know, knowledge. Yeah, somebody who has a lot of knowledge, exactly. So somebody who knows a lot. Mm -hmm. That's knowledgeable. Persuasive. Persuasive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody that convinces can convince you. Make who is able who able to make believe me. Uh -huh. I think. Okay. Able to do what did you say? Something that make possible to that I believe something. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I I get what you're saying. Some so basically somebody that um that will make you believe something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tough. Do you understand the word tough? Alguien rude. I don't know how to say it. Um, it can be, but probably not in this context. It can be somebody. Tough mm. is like uh, when you're talking with your with your father, for example. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Okay, so it could be somebody who's rough. You're right. Um, but most of the time, if it's used like a, if it's used positively, it means that it's somebody who's strong. Okay, so tough can it, it can be one of those words that could be positive or negative depending on how it's used. So, um, so somebody who's tough, like like if you guys probably have seen um, shows like um, American Idol. Uh, you know, things like that. There's always a judge that is like a tough judge, that it's the judge that that is um very rough, the the, the judge that that um like it's very hard to please and gives very uh very rude advice. That's tough. So that could be negative. But if it's used in the positive context, it means somebody that is I'll strong. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Can Can you repeat that? It's a person that has heart of the rock. <laughs> I don't that know. It's hard like a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe exactly. have it. Maybe maybe rude. Continent. Maybe who has a uh, difficult character. It can, but like I said, all of those ideas that you mentioned right now are very negative. But tough can also mean something positive, like somebody who's strong, somebody who can uh, withstand any problems, any with, um, uh, yeah. It, it's like when you, like, when you can say to someone in Spanish, um, tú eres fuerte. Okay, <clears throat> in English you can you can translate as you are tough. Tú eres fuerte. No te preocupes, lo vas a lograr, tú eres fuerte. Don't worry, you'll make it, you're tough. So it could be positive too. 
Okay. It's not something rude. It depends on the context. It can okay. be. It can be. So it, it depends on how you're using it. Tough can be positive or it can be negative. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. All right. And then we have megas. Oh, sorry. Any other uh, adjectives that you can use to describe a salesperson? Elegant. Elegant, okay, yeah, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Confident? No, I, I don't know if that's the word. Self-confident. Confident, yes. Yes, very good. Okay, good. And then we have magazine. Words that would describe a magazine, we have affordable. Affordable, you understand the word affordable? Yes, it's like uh, accessible on, on the price. Yes, very good. Very, ex yeah, very good. Uh, so the price is very accessible. Yes, very good. Attractive. You understand attractive, right? So it attracts people. Entertaining, yeah, yeah, you understand entertaining. What, what is entertaining? Yeah, it's like in the newspaper, they have to looking for something that the people want to know, something yeah. interesting like that. Yeah, cry, somebody crash, somebody pass away. They... Right, yeah, so. Um, entertaining is something that will entertain people so that will make them have fun it makes them enjoy it okay mm -hmm. informative yep what's informative for example when it's um, when some countries close the 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 road for any reason, they uh, share this information on the newspaper, for example, or in a magazine. In this yeah, yeah. So it's basically informative means that it shares important news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And well written. Do you understand that word well written? No. The grammar. Hmm? Uh, like is it like good grammar? Yeah. Good grammar. Not and not just grammar, but um just the way that it's written is something that um that is good to read. Like, I, it's easy for me to read. I like to read it. That's well written. Okay. Okay. So not, not just talking about grammatically speaking that it's good, but it's just well written means that, um, that many people will be able to read it because it will be good. Like it will, it will keep their attention um, because the way that it's written is, um, appealing, attractive yeah. to people. Okay. All right. Any other, yeah. any other um, qualities that you think would be important for a magazine? Good pictures. Good pictures. Okay. So maybe colorful. Yeah. Yeah. Colorful. Anything else? Right. They had to try to infer the through of something. They have to they have to what do what? They had to informate the people about something that is true, for example, 
if somebody crash or have an accident, they try to figure out how to find who who who, who was the person who provoked or made uh, this accident, for example. Oh, so kind of like um they can like invent. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Like, so they're truthful. For example, like a princess Sophia. Princess Sophia will uh, the the birthday of Princess Sophia will be on that day. They can say like a two days ago, or they they have to really figure out how to find the new uh the the, the through for sure some uh, good information. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. All right. Good. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and um, I'm going to take attendance right now because we didn't do that just yet. So let's take attendance now. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Angel Antonio Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Brandy Marilu Pimentel uh, call check. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Um, Eh, es una Sandy Hernández Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, is it possible to turn on the camera for the attendance? Sorry, sorry. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, Eduardo Jose Melgar. No. Iliana Janet Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterosa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltrán. Jaime Roberto. Joana Yesenia Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Thank you. Mar uh, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Marina Stephanie. Ni oh, sorry. Okay, per perfect. Thank you very much, Marina. Okay. Uh, Nidia Esmeralda Barroquín Guevara. Yes, Thank you. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Caetan. Reina Elizabeth. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Here teacher. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. And Jancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Present. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's continue with our class then. Just give me one moment. Okay. 
you see my screen? No, yet. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. All right. So here we're going to be learning how to describe purpose. What's the purpose of something? Okay. So we can describe purpose in two different ways. One way is using what we call an infinitive clause. The word infinitive um, implies that we're going to be using the word to. Okay. Um, okay. So when we say the word infinitive, it's referring to when we use the word to. Okay. For example, we can say, to run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. All right. Now, so how we do this, how we start with an infinitive, we, we always start with an infinitive clause. The infinitive clause is going to be precisely this first part that we have here because it contains an infinitive. The infinitive is to run. Right? So right here, this is the infinitive, to run. So to run a popular right. internet cafe. And then after that, we have the main clause. And in this main clause, we use um, words, oops, sorry. In this main clause, uh, we're going to be using expressions like, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Um, oh, sorry. And we usually use, it's a good idea too. It's a good idea too. And then we use the verb in the infinitive. It's a good idea too. Um, or for example, it's important too. So there are many different ways you can say it. Or it needs to. It has to. Okay. That would be in the main clause. So what we do with the infinitive clause, we always use the to infinitive at the beginning. And then we say what the purpose is. So to and then the purpose to run a popular internet cafe. And then we have the main clause. It's a good idea to have late opening hours. But I could also say to run a popular internet cafe, it's important to have good internet connection. To run a popular internet cafe, it needs to have many computers. To run a popular internet cafe, it has to um, it has to um, be be in an, an accessible place to people. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. So there are many things that you can say here. Now it's also possible not just to use the two infinitive. Like in this one, oops. Here. So we say here, we can start, start by saying to establish a trendy restaurant. That's possible too. Okay, so we're, when we're using the to infinitive. But 
to make it a little more sophisticated, let's say, it's also possible to add the expression in order to. Okay. In order to. Does that make sense? So we say in order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. But I could just sim simply say to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Does that make sense for everybody? Or do you have questions about that? It's clear for me. It's clear? Yeah. Any questions at all? Okay. Now, on top of that, like, or another way that we can, like a second way that we can um, describe purpose is by continuing using the, the, the infinitive clause, except that in this case, we're not just gonna be using um, the, the, the two infinitive like here, right? Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna erase this because I want to get you guys confused. So we, we have here the two infinitive, but if you notice, it's not at the beginning of the, of the clause anymore. It's not. Why? The reason is because we actually start with another word. Okay. And the word that we start with here is The word for. So, for example, for an athletic center to be profitable. Okay. Um, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. Okay. So, we're going to be starting with the word for instead. Okay. And usually for plus a noun. For example, like this one, for an athletic center, for a shopping mall, and then then we're going to be using the two, um, the sorry the, the 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 infinitive. Okay, in this case right here, we have to succeed. Okay, so we have four. The noun, and I can write. I can write this down. So we're going to start with the four plus the noun. And then here we're going to have the two and then the verb. All right. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, it's true. Any questions? Now, just like this one, it's also possible to make it a little like more sophisticated, let's say. And we, instead of just saying for at the beginning, we can also add 
um, in order. But in this case, we're not going to say in order two, we're going to say in order four. In order four, the shopping mall to succeed. And, and you can use any one of these ones, for example. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it's a good idea to, it's important to, it needs to, it has to. Anything is there is possible. All right. Questions? All right. Do you have any questions? Hey, teacher, I have a question. Okay. Hey, what is the meaning profitable? Okay, profitable. You say profitable is um something that um that that gives you a lot of money. Okay. Rentable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so it gives you, um, yeah, it, it it produces a lot of money. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. So we, you're welcome. So you can use any one of these. Okay. Just remember um, that um, you can either start with the two, one. We can either start with the two plus the verb, plus the noun. Okay. Or we can do the four plus the noun, plus the two, plus the verb. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay. All right. Um, just a moment. Okay. Oops. Let's erase this. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's see if you guys can get this. So match each goal with a suggestion. And remember, more than one answer is possible. So what do you think could be a possible answer? For a health club to attract new people, Letter E, it has, to, it has to offer the latest types of equipment. It has to offer the latest types of equipment, okay. All right, good. In order to run a profitable restaurant, profitable restaurant, letter A, yeah. letter A, you need to hire a talent check. You need, talent. To hire, you need to hire a talented chef? Yes. Okay. Could be. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Could be a good idea to offer desserts too. Yeah. Yeah, I agree too. Yeah, that one that one can work too. Remember more than one is just possible. I mean for the first one, the letter A. For a health club to attract new people, you need to hire a talent chef. A health club? Yes. No. Could be, but, you said there are more than one option. Sure. Although a health club, <laughs> people normally go to a health club for, for doing exercise more than for the food. But sure, it's possible. Why not? And how okay. to be the positive. Yeah. Okay. To establish a successful dance club. It needs to have great music and lighting. 
Yes. Letter D. D. Yeah, the letter D. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, very, very good. Um, for a copy bar to succeed, For a copy of to succeed. Uh, letter, letter B. B. It's a good letter idea B. to offer desserts too. too. Good, yes. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. Okay. In order for magazines to succeed. Letter F. Um, letter F. 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 It, it has, has to provide. provide. It has to provide. It has to provide. Useful for information. To, it's in order, yeah. It has to provide useful information and to run a successful clothing boutique. Let us see. Yeah. You, you need, need to set up with the latest designers. You need to have, yeah, you need to uh, keep up with the latest uh, styles. Okay, very good. Bravo. Good job, guys. All right, we're going to stop there today. And that's going to be the end of our class. So don't don't forget you need to be working on the platform this week. We're going to be checking uh, section three and the midterm. So don't forget about that. OK, you can remember you okay. can always go ahead. You can always work ahead. OK, so I'll see you guys okay. tomorrow and take care. Okay. See you. See you. See you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.